But yeah, uh, every little part uh, can make a uh, monster flinch. Basically, you do you hit like a threshold of damage, and it'll break. It'll make them flinch. It'll make them fall over. All depending on what you're hitting. Um, different body parts include like the head, the body, uh, each wings, uh, arms if they have them, uh, each leg, and then like certain special parts they may have, and tails too. And all of those have uh, flinch thresholds. All of those may have a knockover, knockover threshold. Some of them may break to give certain more rewards, or you know, have just have certain effects. <laughs> um, if you're hitting a like a like a flying wyvern. You know, if there's one that's up in the air flying around shooting fireballs and stuff, and say, you know, you're using the bow gun or the bow and arrow, and uh, you break one of his wings, you know, you kind of break it apart, break the claws off and stuff, and he's in the sky, he will fall out of the sky onto the ground and be like, oh god, that sucked, and it gives you time to hit him some more. Um, if you're using a blunt weapon on a... Uh, on a head, <laughs> really, a uh, blunt weapon like a hammer, a hunting horn, and uh, certain bullets and arrows can do uh, knockout damage. You, uh, <laughs> you, you, uh, you take the hammer, you hit him in the head enough times, it does stun damage. And the stun damage, A, it decreases the amount of monsters' stamina. Uh, monsters have a threshold of stamina where if they're low on stamina, they're going to they're gonna drool from the mouth and they're going to move a lot slower and maybe not be able to do certain attacks. Um, also, if you're hitting them in the head with a blunt thing, you're doing stun damage to where if you do enough, they'll just KO. They will, they will literally just fall over to the side, have stars swollen over their head, and just kind of flail on the ground while you just do a crap ton of damage to them. Um... And that's just stuff you can do with normal weapons. On top of that, there's elements. Uh, there's ice, fire, lightning, dragon, water. Yeah, ice, fire, water, dragon, lightning. I think that's I think that's all the elements. Uh, and then there's status uh, uh, status effects of poison, uh, paralyze, um, stamina drain, exhaust, which is one. Uh, slime, which is a new one. This one, slime is it builds up and uh, makes them explode. <laughs> um, that's status effects. Yeah, poison, paralyze, and sleep. Sleep is another one. Um, and you'll see people use sleep to. You put a monster to sleep, and then you pull out giant barrel bombs, put them right next to the monster's head, and blow up the bombs in their face. Does tons of damage. Uh, slime is ridiculous, overpowered. No, there is no earth element. Um, mainly because, like, most of them, most of the elements correspond to like the various monster elements and breath weapons and all that kind of stuff you know fire is kind of obvious um some will have the ice effects you know like uh, i was just playing into tundra and stuff he scrapes up ice there's uh monsters that do have ice breaths same with water um and uh lightning there's monsters who shoot lightning as well you know it all kind of corresponds to those um but yeah, uh, back to status elements. Poison is poison. You hit them enough, hit them enough with a poison status effect, and they'll get poisoned and take damage over time. Sleep puts them to sleep. Uh, paralyzed makes them lock in place and take extra damage. You know, being paralyzed. Yes, uh, there are visual updates for armor and weapon changes. As you upgrade weapons, they may change in look and style. They may look kind of the same, but maybe change color as you upgrade them, you know, make them better. Uh, armors all look drastically different. Um, right now, like I said, I'm wearing uh, half Azerothalos, half uh, Gold Ciadius. Um The Azerothalos, there is a lower rank version of it that doesn't look like this Azerothalos, you know, like I got the little wings on the back and stuff. The lower rank version of this armor doesn't have that. Um, there is, there is a rarity system, and yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, the, the rarity system is really just there for what you can and can't trade, for the most part, and pretty much, if it's useful, you can't really trade it. Like, you can trade things like potions and whetstones, you know, in case, like, somebody forgot to bring hot drinks, you can trade them hot drinks. But, like, monster parts and equipment and all that stuff, you can't trade with people. And that's really what rarity comes down to. I can go to the armorsmith and show him the lower rank armor, just to give him an idea. So, yeah, like I was saying there, you, see the, you saw the wings on my uh, back there. Um, let me find the wrath soul. Follow soul mail. Oops. Now you see there? 
See how that chest has got the spike blade shoulders as opposed to like the wings in the back and stuff? That's the lower rank version of this armor. Um, if I switch up to what I'm wearing here. And there you go, you see the wings, little lower spike blades and stuff. Just, yeah, bit of difference. Yeah, there's no PC version. Um, it's only 3DS and Wii U for Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, which is what this exact game is. Uh, there are ga there are uh, previous iterations of the game available on the Wii. Uh, Monster Hunter Try for the Wii, which is kind of the predecess predecessor to this one. And then there are uh, the Monster Hunter Freedom series on the PSP. And then really the original Monster Hunter series on PS2. Uh, um, for PC, there is an MMO that is available to Eastern, uh, Eastern IPs only. You can play it via proxies and learning Japanese, but, yeah, pain in the butt. Um, but if you're, if you were looking to get into this game, um, no, you're thinking of Monster Rancher. <laughs> Monster Rancher is where you put in CDs and get new monsters. This is Monster Hunter. Different games entirely. <laughs> um, if you were to pick up a Monster Hunter game to play, if you have a PSP or get a PSP, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite would be the one you want to get. Or if you were to pick it up now, get a 3DS or and or Wii U and get 3 Ultimate. Those are the two I would suggest to start up on. Those are the best ones in the series by far.